Hello and welcome back. I'm Beeball Joe and this is Transport Beaver 2. I did a little more optimization after the last two episodes and today we continue with our actual network building. You may wonder, why are you on the boat? What's up with that? And to which I will tell you, well, we are apparently not shipping everything we can to wherever this is. South Elmsel. Sam. Which means this platform um, sometimes gets overloaded. And this platform is also sometimes getting overloaded. And the train that actually is supposed to bring stuff in and out here is not um, at full capacity. So let's start fixing some things. The first thing, make this queuing area a lot longer. Um, just about there, probably. In here, that's fine. Get a signal on there. Beautiful. Just like we meant it. Put a signal here. And now the trains can actually do something. The next thing, let's check this guy. You can transport 70, that's nice. But your rate is 48. This rate, I know it's not an optimization, but 48 is half the rate that we actually need out of you. So, the first thing we're going to do is upgrade this guy to be able to handle what we need you to handle. Oh, one thing. I'm just going to probably run at at least a quarter speed, at least for a while. Let's get to the diesel trains. I'm excited for that. But what do we have here? Um, The Prussian is just not that strong. Otherwise, I would just bang a bunch more uh, wagons on here, but it only has 200 kilowatts power. And that's not... That's just not enough. The Mogul, yeah, it's cute. I really like this Russian OB. Um for transporting what we need. And let's see, that one was 70. So let's go... Um, sure, let's go a different one. So 70 was the first one. Let's just double that at 180 meters. This one? 23, and you are at 141. That is way too much. We need 93. So let's try that again. Just a little better. 1, 2, 3, 4. Open this one, and you are now 116. Take two more out of here. 104. Eh. Mm, mm. The more we deliver, the more we can um, move or make, make stuff happen with. That's good. This one, however, is not good enough. Rate is 37? No, that's not going to cut it. And you, you will see in the bottom left corner, I, I did let it run again for a couple hours, just I don't want us to keep waiting for stuff to happen because all our lines are actually doing pretty well, and I will show you how that looks. 55? Yeah, it's still not cutting it. Mm. Let's start by doubling that. 100? 11? Mm, let's do 160. Because we want to move cheese and cheese and fuel and cheese is 78 and fuel is 90 so 80 plus 90 is 170 that's what our rate should be for this line and now our rate is 168 perfect let's leave it that way these boats your rate is what 100 yeah it's also not cutting it do we have other boats available yet zoroaster can do just fuel do you not Dunara Castle. Yes, I think this is what we're going to go with. Replace those that we just double. 143, that's pretty close. Let's add one more ship. 215. Way too much, but that is fine. At least for now. Um, good, good, good. How's this going? 114. I would assume that our cheese can handle a lot more than this yes at least let's at least double that so we transport a hundred let me guess this guy the corn or grain to cheese farm is probably only uh, transporting 92 percent that's not terrible anyways this uh cheese milk train yes i i kind of did this on a couple other lines but i actually haven't looked into our shipping line over here in a long time so let's make sure this works it does a hundred that's not terrible. We can go up to 200 though. So instead of making this a lot longer, let's just double this one with the train that's on there. I'm more comfortable with that. 
What are you doing? You are doing that, and this one's just a new guy. That should be fine. What's that? Oh, it's a palm. <laughs> it looked funny fun up here. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty good for now. And oh, I wanted to show you how our lines look. And overall, I'm I'm pretty happy. This one sometimes makes money, sometimes doesn't. Honestly, it's okay. The main problem is right now, sometimes we don't transport exactly what I want here. But what we are doing is we're almost maxing out our consumption, which is 800. And 800 is the... Um, it's not. <laughs> not even 403. Curious. Should I upgrade this to 800? Because we could almost double this. But that's also a lot of trains already. And our rate is we're going to do 2 to 1. How are we doing 800? Can someone... We shouldn't be doing 800. We should be doing closer to 200, but that's not what we're doing. And we're also storing more than enough. So I don't think I can add more trains on that line. They're bringing in 400, but it feels like they're bringing in more. It doesn't matter. What do we have going on over here? Steel supply. Yeah, I upgraded a couple roads here, but once we have the little... Um, what are they called? Alcos? Yeah, the Alcos, the short... Shunters, I will probably add another train station here that will go out to steel, and that should work. But this is all pretty much like I would like it to be. These trains, the Conmat band deliveries, are usually running full, and that is lovely. And since I changed the layout here, we can actually wait until full, which also means they're making more money. That's wonderful. Yeah, this one, why are you... Every time you drop off, you make money, and that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like, most of these are making more money when they drop off, and sometimes they're out of um, deficits, and sometimes they're in. Like, this one is just really big. Where is one that has a lot stored? You're waiting for a free path. Perfect. This is kind of where I expected you to wait for a free path. Um... I should probably put a bypass in here or something, expand the station so some trains can just zip through the middle and don't have to wait for stations to clear off. But this is probably fine, honestly. Um, how are we doing here? Yeah, every time, every time a train comes in here, these will be uh, loaded up and that should be good. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy. Everything else is kind of working. I did add a couple more just commuter routes in here, so... We get more people to the stations, and I did upgrade our inner city too to be a mogul. Just, just a pretty train. There he is. Choo -choo. Yeah, and he goes right in the tunnel, right? And I wanted it. Great. So that is all figured out. What I want to do today is uh, utilize this guy a little more. Right now, we only produce or using up 600 units, and we only ship 335. We can ship a lot more and there's a lot of places where we can actually bring it because right now we're only bringing them to three different places and we are transporting pretty much everything right now which is great you want to keep this close to 100 percent all the time but where do we not currently deliver to we don't deliver to to tambury welts and that will be a pretty easy setup we could add another line that goes straight to tambury welts from here hmm but I really like this big train to just bring stuff to this hub here. And then from the hub, we split out wherever the conmats need to go. And this hub, oh, I, I know I just redid it, but this is not the biggest hub we can make. We can make it essentially double the size if we split out to the left or if we spread out to the left. And I almost wonder if I need to do that because we will want conmats to move from here. Unless, unless I build another train station essentially on the other side of this that should be able to reach all of this. And we can do more conmat delivery from there. But then we have this problem with the current train forefield that we just upgraded last time. I still have a couple of open platforms here. And that's, that's part of the game that's okay, but I do not love it. The platform system is static. You cannot make it dynamic in this game. There are some games where it allows you, but here, essentially, you can only 
You're going to lose money if you have more than one line waiting on one platform, especially for cargo. For passengers, it's a little different, but not a lot different. That reminds me, I wanted to upgrade this guy to be faster. Manage vehicles. Yeah, we have 300 millions. Let's make this also a mogul. And passengers will be... Hmm... 14, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes. Do this. That should be good. That means we actually have to go to Tambury Wells and figure out our new timetable. Stations. Inner city. Inner city. I see. I see. I see two. This one. I set it up this way. Now our rate is 12 minutes. This is still probably acceptable because we have the still still the same number of trains waiting there. So that should be fine. So we don't have to change that. Anyways, let's do more um, conmats. Where are you going, buddy? Conmats, bro, transfer. You're looking in a weird direction, but that's okay. What I think we will have to do, and I'm excited about that, is increase the number of trains that bring the conmats to this hub. But that is awesome because we're going to get paid for that. So let's do what I'm babbling on about doing. You only drop off there. That is cute. This is a pickup. Yeah, this is the only current station that is not used. And last time I was talking about leave the outsides open. Well, we're going to change that. Why? I didn't do anything to confuse any train. This is your own fault. No, you just turn around buddy and then you turn around again I'm, I'm not a fan when they do that just because you connect something funny yeah just load up and be quiet I can probably increase the size of these trains because we have a lot of big trains and I love it but I think that's fine for now let's figure out our distribution down here in Tambury Welts and that's the last uh, delivery that we need we already have um, the cargo station set up for the for the trucks, so that is kind of nice. And most of the snow, part of it is covered, part of it is not covered. But it's pretty easy to cover right there, so that'll be easy. Um, get a truck station connection right there. You are crossing in a place where I don't really want you to cross, but I probably have to redo this intersection eventually anyways. So that's okay. Definitely wait until loaded. How many do we need? We need to fill 153. That's awesome. That is a huge number, which means we can add a lot more trains today, which is exactly what this episode is supposed to be about. Five vehicles. Let's start with... These are the first specialized ones, but they don't actually make a difference, which is a little sad. But hey, if you get specialized, I'll do specialized. Let's start with 11 because that's easy to type. You all go on line one. And then at the same time, we give line num oh, uh, line one a name, Tambury Welts, Comats, Distribution. Beautiful. You are 174. That is too much. We need 153. So manage vehicles. Yes. Uh, delete. 174 down to 158. So just one more should actually get us to 158 is fine. Let's leave that. I hope they're not going to block us too much. I think there is a mod out that would let these guys actually go to the end of the station. I think it's something about station capacity, which is really weird. But I will survive it the way it is right now. The next thing we need is a delivery route from our hub over here all the way down to here. I'm pausing. You're just delivering here. Yeah, that should be fine. We can share this because it's a double delivery route. And actually, if you need extra station space, that is a good place to go if you just deliver to the same platform because that means nobody's usually waiting until unloaded. They're just unloading. And the longer your station is, the faster you unload because I think the game only unloads things that are already on the platform and everything else is unloaded a little slower keep that in mind it may be a totally different game and then it doesn't really matter but that's what i think it is and maybe it isn't this station will be conmats Danbury welds 
delivery. Easy enough. We need 153. That is at least one huge train. And until we have better trains, we're going to go with this one because that is an awesome beefy train. Uh, Conmats are this. Let's do a small one. I essentially have 240 meters to play with everywhere I go. So let's start with this one and then we will upgrade it as we need it. Choo choo! Conmats, what are you doing? 39! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, okay. That wagon. This wagon is not cutting it. Try that again. Um, let's do this. Remove all of these. Remove all of those and then use this one instead. Again, about 200 meters. It's more capacity. I think they're a lot lighter. But they're not doing it. Um, almost double what the capacity was, but it's still not going to cut what we need. So let's double that. That's 138. We need 153. It does. It's not worth it to add another full train. So what we're gonna do is add first select both. Very good. Then add one two here and one two here. And check our line again, 149. That's pretty close to what we actually want to happen. So that should be good. I think this translates into this line at 158 being too much. And we can actually get rid of one of these. Cool. Excellent. All of that is waiting. Everything should be functioning. This train kind of fits on the station. That is lovely. Yeah. So one conmat done. Way more to go. And this is upgrading now because we just added another city. That means there's more to deliver and that's what we want. And to deliver that, we will probably have to upgrade this transfer. We're already doing 245. We need to be doing now 150. This is 300, 400, 500. 500 needs to be our rate on this train. So can we double this? I don't think we can start by doubling this, but I definitely want to add one of these. We can add a lot more tra um, uh, wagons to this, so that is a good start. Sand ore. You only do 282. I would... I don't think I can get more sand ore out of this, because it's 2 to 1. We are already delivering 800, and which means we get 400 um, units of sand every time. So this... The sand delivery is almost done with what it can do. Oil sand, nope. Conmats, conmats, conmats. Fuel, what do I call it? Sand or fan, yes. So this one, 285. We can add another one pretty easily. One, one other one should get us close to 400. This is good. I don't want to increase, um, increase the wagons on this. I just want to double check that is what I think it is. Yes. And it's also the one that brings iron back. And that's great. So now we're going to transfer transfer all of the sand that we get out of the um, fuel production. But as I already said, this is 500, not just 400. So we need another 100 from somewhere. There's stones here that we can use. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Will be a great shunter line. It will be an amazing shunter line, and I can even maybe even connect connect the rest of the line to this. It will be neat. I don't love it, but it will be neat. I don't love it mostly because there is a perfectly good Conmats connection right here, and we could do that. So if I can find a more inconvenient place to get material from for this. One is slack. And slack is nice, but I get slack from the steel plant. To get it from the steel plant, I need to bring coal here and actually use the steel for something else. And that is a really involved um, transport. There's one. Hmm. There's something I could use. This is a really good distance. 
which means I can give it a really long train, and it is essentially as the crow flies. How do we transport marble? Marble. How? What transports marble? Stone mats. You transport marble. I think I found a winner. The current problem that we have is the comrades um, transports from here. They just drop it off here and then they go back empty. But if we can drop the marble off here, the comrades can actually take all the marble to the materials plant. And that will be perfect. It's a little dangerous because it may mean that not all the sand gets produced here that we want because we may overload our comrades plan. But that's a problem I will figure out then because there is another level so is this uh so wait, wait it's 200 no what is it give me give me give me an empty one 100 200 400 800 is that right i think i'm thinking about the levels 100 200 no 200 these these must be different i think it's 200 400 800 1600 so this shouldn't be a problem if i just bring the marvel to this station do we have a platform right now that is just drop off from this side. No, it isn't. But this platform is just drop off, and we can use that to drop off marble as well. Ten wheeler, first hundred kilometer, uh, sm smoky, nice. I I am hesitating again, mostly only because this will be the platform where we're actually going to pick up the marble. But I think that will be okay. And they can go over there. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Marble. Um, oh, and we have space here. I love it. I can. Oh no! Oh no! We're going. We're going. We're going big. We are going very, very big. I love it. I love this. Um, there's a connection here. Who's connected to something? There's city. What we're going to do is what I talked about last time, where we make this stretch a four four track um, business take you away from here very good let's put the cargo station on the outside here i haven't actually used this one and we're getting into a time frame where this is appropriate main building definitely large i would like this to be gravel just a little different do i need to for right now this will be a single if i need to run more track through here i will but for right now this is what we have 360 meters Remember that, people, Joe. Remember that. Thank you. That looks good. Yeah, we, we will have to replace this in just a sec. Trucks. Yes. Ra rail. Um, pretty straight. Don't make it complicated. Let's connect this because I will forget later that I wanted to connect this. Doesn't have to be pretty. One, two, three. Over. Not enough. Four. Over. That's enough. Um, really ugly. That goes there. That does not need to be straight. So, yep, just bend in there, go there. We could have even, even just make this a normal crossing or a level crossing, but I really don't want to. I really, really don't want to. All right. I will pause this. Because I will have some upset trains right away. I know that. Let's see. I want you to essentially... Let's see. We start on this side. I want to drag this out nice and long. Somewhere here is probably fine. We want the max speed out of this. That's important. That's good. And then you just go all the way out here. And maybe even longer. We we may make this longer in the future, but for right now, this may be this this is probably good enough. And I think I can finagle this so that we don't have any crossing. It's technically called a flying junction. Practically, that may not be what I'm making. So I don't want to call it that. <laughs> let's see. Let let's see. Uh, let's do my worst. These all can pull back, and that is fine. Gosh, it's been... Excuse me? There shouldn't be a tiny piece of rail track here. Thank you. Everything just back up. 
very good now we are just fine so it's been so long this this is going to be a little bit of a challenge i think this is what we're going to do the middle tracks are going to stay but have a light swerve yes they will have a light swerve and then i'm going to use n to make them bend underneath okay this is good and then i would like what we want this one connects to the outside this one goes over now because this is still passenger passenger line what am i doing this is right this is this is left this is right this is left essentially what i'm trying to do here is get it so that they come out right right left left or up up down down and here it is up down up down is that even helpful i think it will be no it won't be because we're not mm hmm Let's do this. Before I think too hard. <laughs> this is not quite in the space where I thought it would be. Um, cargo line. Let's... This is not the cargo line. What are you doing? You are out of your mind. The cargo line is on this side. There's one in. And this side is one out. This is the cargo line. This is the remaining passenger line. Yeah, they're all bending down here right now. I don't really want that. But what I do want is both of these to have a connection to the cargo line. I think the best way to do that is to make it two connections. Let's see here. You come in there. Let's take all of this back just a smidge. I don't know why that graphic glitch pops up all the time. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but there's always a white square that shows up every once in a while. And it's not cool. Not cool at all. Okay, so this is our normal passenger line. It's always going to connect there. This is the line for the cargo trains. And I would actually like those... Let's see, we should be able to do this. Tiny bit out, and then um, up. <laughs> Let's see, how, how up can we go? One, two. Two is pretty high for a cargo train. That will just slow down really hard. And there's, there's also a mountain coming up here, so that may be a problem. Can we? Yes, we can. Bridge, pillar, collision, beautiful. Um, yep, we'll do that. That is good. And this one continue here. No, you cannot. Um, don't do that. Bridge, bridge, bridge. If I split out a little sooner, it's not as complaining. Okay, we can do this. Let's try to make it not look terrible. Thanks, autosave. I probably need you. There's something going to happen here that I don't like. Thank you. And this one can make it all the way up here. Then this side of the cargo line um, can split out from here and connect straight on to this one. Nope. <laughs> and I'll tell you why nope. This line is fine where it is. It can go what kind of under here if it really wants to and then connect again. The other side... I'm gonna break this. Oh. Oh. Oh, what? Well. Oh, well. I'm glad I deleted that. I didn't think this was gonna play along. Because this one has to go here. And it's just a down. Is that a down? No, it's not a down. That's also the wrong side I connected that to. This one has to stay on the outside of this track. 
This track has to come in here, going 120. This one's going down. This one is going um, just the other way. So now you can come out here. Yeah, this, maybe this is going to work. I'm still not convinced. Um, I, it's definitely not going to go here. That's, that's not where it is. Ah. <sighs> Okay. I could connect this one here. That is the correct track for it to go on. But if I do that, this one has to back up just a little more. And then go up just a little bit. Now, we do still have yeah, a mountain that helps us just a tiny bit. Let's see. This is the part... Where if I make this dip just a tiny bit, we may have a better chance to get it under here. So, one, two. That's as much as I want to do. And can you get over here? Not like this. Understood. A straight... Um... I wish we had new bridges already, but we don't. So I should not just complain about that all the time. But this works. And once you have a bridge that goes over where you need it, you can back it up a little bit and then you can just put in an embankment in here like this. Then like we talked about last time, once you have the embankment down, um, move it back a little bit. So you have a smoother transition and that will work. And we may actually use this cargo station I just put down for the marble um, for transporting the rest. So this one can just split out pretty straight. Doesn't have to do anything fancy. And connect somewhere here. Wow, I did not expect you to lose so much speed. And you don't have to. We have a lot of room. So if you come over here... And you can just connect straight onto here. The longer you make these, the smoother your curves are. You probably know that. Let's take this one back a notch. A lot. Remove this road because nobody needs it right now. Yeah, this would probably just be a, a, a level crossing again. And this one can stay there. <laughs> I'm debating what I want to do here. I think there's merit... Too many things at once. Let, let's stay let's stay nice and big and let's think about the details in a little bit. This one can just connect straight onto here. And this should be fine. And let's just close this loop. Very good. That's the marble connected. The passengers uh, the passenger lines shouldn't interfere with each other too much. So I am comfortable connecting these. Like this. They're going 120. They have to share lines anyways because they are the same type of transport and that should be good. What I want to look at now is... This, this line is the line that needs to connect to the right side of the track up here. This line is the line that needs to connect to the left side up there. So... Gosh. Huh. I don't think that's what I want. I do... Th <laughs> We're in the water. Wonderful. That's exactly what I wanted. I think I could extend this a little bit with more aqueduct. Because what I do want is this line to stay on the outside. But I don't want everything to cross everything. That didn't make any... Or not much sense. And I get that. But... This is the inside line. This is the outside line. If I pull the outside line from here, I would cross this line eventually. And that is what I'm trying to avoid because I don't want them to cross, period. So what I need to do is cross this after... Well, cross that in a place where I can actually cross it. You can't really cross from a bridge, but I think... I may be able to cross right in front of it. 110 you're slowing down here anyway so 
honestly, this may be our best bet. I don't love it. Give me a little bit on the bridge and then split out from there. I, I am okay. More okay with this. It's not really giving me the angle that I want. Let's say this is okay for now. No, no, no. This bridge is just not... Not playing favors. Let's do it right after the bridge so it doesn't look completely horrendous. You can come out here and now this... This line has to connect on the outside of this somehow. What I think I want to do is maybe let this run a little more straight for a little while. Pull you back until you're on flat ground. Very good. Connect that to flat ground. Also very good. Auto save. I don't see you. There you go. And this one, I want to connect straight onto here. Don't fight me. Please and thank you. Why am I building all of this this big? Well, once, it's fun. And two, I actually think I'm going to need it because this should be a relatively busy train intersection. Yeah, this is not gonna, that's not gonna cut it for me. Let's pull out here first, nice and flat. Very good. And then you can dip under just a little bit. Under. Good. You didn't connect here, but I will allow that. Now you're connected, and all the rails are the same. I don't like that it goes to rock right away, but we are not on a super mountainous terrain, just relatively mountainous in places where I don't need it. If we back this up more, I may be able to run this. Yes, just like that. That's what I assumed we could do. Can we do it with the bridge not horrible? Like it's clipping right there and there. Man, I wish we had a different bridge already. I'm not gonna play this game forever. Um, okay, to change it up just a little bit, instead of doing that, we will run this like a tunnel. You go there, down one, down two, down three, down four. Not a tunnel yet. Understood. Um, let's keep this on the straight for a little, a little longer. Straight up like this. Good. Got the tunnel underneath this. There's a collision. I'm. There shouldn't be that much of a collision. I mean, come on. Can we back this up a little bit? Does this is this enough? Nope, not enough yet. I love big projects. It's. If you think I'm competent at it or not, doesn't really matter. I just love these types of projects. One, two, three, four. Four seems a little excessive. But it actually connects in a way that is feasible. Therefore, four is the winner. Mm. Wish I could fix that. Also, we don't need a double bridge here anymore. If we do it this way, I don't think... I need to um, cross on the bridge. I can just cross right after the bridge. Because now there's so much room here. Just come down. Look how this looks. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's a little steep. So let's back that up. Do it again, right after the bridge. Nice and genteel. There you go. If you click on that, it will actually set to the correct height. But I still don't like that. What we want to do here is stay, stay in the flat, just for a little bit. Keep 120. 
that's important. And then we can now branch out and this one, yes. And we can go slightly downhill. I don't want to overdo our um, grade here or the, the mountain, the, the embankment on the side. So this looks fine. And it looks like we're almost, almost down. Back up again, one, and then merge up here. Excellent. That wasn't quite as bad as I expected it to be. So that is really, really lovely. I have this one come in here. That will work. We could, there's a lot of things that we can do over here for right now. All we're gonna do is a little brush size, strength. Why is this white? Oh gosh, I hate it when it does that. If we're under, below ocean level, it just does this thing when you're trying to smooth something out. Not pretty, it's not helpful, it's really, really annoying. Let's make this a little bumpy and then go like this. Nope, still not. Oh, oh come on, I just had it. There you go. Maybe on this side. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. I don't want that. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, you're, just, you're just not going to let me. Why? Also, why is it raising all of this as rock and not like grass, which it is everywhere around here? I'm not quite sure. There's a little water right there. Don't... Why? Why would there be water there? Okay, so it doesn't want to do the smoothing where I need it, but you probably will do it around here. And that's... That's something. Not exactly what I wanted, but it is something. That is fine. You can come on this side and make it smooth. All, the, all these rocks are the reason why we had to do the thing that we just did. Let's just pretend that's true. And then this one... And just come out here and honestly we can probably connect for now um this is probably the next candidate for turning into a quad track but not yet right now just this there's the snap point beautiful let's get our one-way signals out so we know where we're going you're going that way you're going this way this this that was wrong Uh, this this I know that there are generally longer trains on here but it will be fine um, I don't love it when we have to stop on top of a hill but I guess in this case that's what we're gonna do stop there and there you can stop on the downhill you can go out what's this one you're also going out you're going in okay and we almost have it. Besides this one. Stay where you were. Almost have it. Uh, you will go... On the right side. No, you're coming back. Yes, you are definitely coming back on this side. Which means there needs to be a signal here and here, which is on top of the hill. That's okay. This side looks fine. We're driving on the right. Just always remember that when I place my signals. So that is fine. This is kind of blocked. Why are you blocked? I'm not paused. But why are you blocked? Did I give you a wrong signal somewhere? It has to be. That signal's good. That signal's good. You continue going up here. You go in here. Yes, those are good. This is good. And then here, yes, I gave you a wrong signal. My bad. You're going that way. Uh, once we get new signals, we can fix that layout. This one is nice. This one can go there. That's already correct. This one goes in here. And sure, just add a couple more signals there. And we are pretty much done. There's, wow. I thought there's at least one train. I was like, what are you doing? Nope. 
This is the only problem that we have. I did not expect that. And that's not quite what we're going to do. Not quite. You can just pop in there and then run straight across here. Easy enough. Don't have to be complicated there. And we can run this one over there. I don't know what I'm going to do with... Hmm. If I just force the flatness instead of smooth it, that's a little better. That's, that's, yep, that's, that's more acceptable. Um, it's not pretty. Not pretty, but... Hey. <laughs> no, it's, it just doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Stop it! Stop it! I don't, I don't want your water there. Good. Uh, we may asset this out at some point and do something better with it. But for right now, this whole junction should not block itself anymore, which is really what this whole thing was about. So I am very, very happy with that. And I should double check that everything is fine. But that's all I had. Um, building this inner <laughs> junction just enables us now to use Marvel and use all the other things, but we're not going to get to that because this took way longer than I thought. Hope you liked it. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.